Ah, uh, hello guys. Welcome to YouTube. What's going on? Newcastle versus Melbourne in what five minutes to kick off. Can't wait. It's gonna be a great game. Sitting in the lounge room this week. This is the game. Move the cap move this thing over here. This is gonna be a great game, I'll tell you now. Maybe the game of the round. Is the audio all good? Is the audio all good, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Is the audio all good? I hope it is. No, I'm just making sure. Yeah, audio is fine. Yep. All right, that's fantastic. Hey, go away. Yeah, this will be game around for sure. National sports loaded. Absolutely. Well, I don't want anyone coming in here. Looking forward to this one, guys. This will be a huge. This is a huge game. Who should I chuck a first try score on? You reckon, or 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 something? Who should I chuck first try on? Huge game, this. Massive game. Bradman Best, yeah. Bradman Best is a good guy to get on. I think I already got on Bradman Best anyway, just in case. Anyone from Melbourne I should back for first try score? Tough one. I'm live on YouTube. What's your thoughts on Isaac Luke joining the Broncos? Uh, really good, actually. I'm actually happy that he joined Brisbane. Because um, it will really help their experience now. Ooh, Homo Hunt. Oh, that's interesting. Vunavalu, yeah, I could see Sully. Newcastle's team is 1-17. to one to 17. So that's, uh, that's obviously a good thing. Tree says, is Bronson Sherry playing? No, Bronson Sherry is, is suspended for God knows how long. Who knows, honestly. Pepperhausen, it's a good first try last week. You reckon he can do it two weeks in a row? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I've got Newcastle by two in this one. I think I think I said 18-16 in my predictions. Or well, 20 to 18, one of the two. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have the audio on in the background, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But if if the stream gets taken down for whatever reason, I'll just I'll just I'll just redo it with the with the sound off. So if it gets taken down because of the, the fucking copyright for just audio in the background, then I'll just redo the stream. Which that'll be that'll piss me off, but Hopefully it's good. If anyone comes in here, it's just me, all right? Yeah. Look at the Storm's record against Newcastle. The closest game in, was 2016. Wow. The captain is back. How are you? I'm going good, Adrian. How are you, mate? Who's better at fullback, Caelan Ponga or Ryan Papperhausen? Oh, Ponga. Oh, I'd say Ponga's just... Papa. Oh, Papperhausen, in my opinion, is like six or seventh best fullback in the game. Everyone's telling me to get on Bradman Best or Vunavali for first try. I've, I've actually got $10 on Vunavali for first try. I hope he gets it now. He fucking better. I'll be fuming if he don't. What's everyone's prediction in this game? Let me know your margins in the comments section. I've got Newcastle by two. Adrian's got Melbourne by 12. Adrian says he's very good. He's in a great mood, ready for some footy. Oh, that's that Damo guy. I remember, I'm friends with him on Instagram. Shout out to Damo. I remember that bloke on Instagram. Damon, Matty, I think. Actually, let me get his Instagram. He's one of my mates on Instagram. He's at the night, He's at the game with his big flag. Holy shit. Did not expect that. Hang on. Shout out to Damo underscore nine one two eight. Did not did not expect to see him there. John says hello. What's going on, John? Hello from England. What's going on? Looking forward to this game, boys. This is going to be a fantastic game. Beyond the try line, what's going on? Knights are a bit of a buggy team against the Storm. Last couple of years, I haven't. I noticed. I saw the stats there. It's bloody interesting. 
Oh yeah, South versus Titans. Jesus Christ, that game was so bad. Right, here we go. I'll just do, get my Instagram post for this. Here we go. We're underway. The game of the round. The Knights in the storm. Fuck is fine. Newcastle versus Melbourne. Nothing better than having Fox guys, let me tell you. Oh, big clam. What's up, Hayden? What's going on? Watching the game, bro. Great game of football, this one. Josh had, a, Josh had a car going for some early runs here. It's his second run already. The Fox. <laughs> Best viewer on your Instagram story. <laughs> oh, Jesse Bromwich. I want to see Tim Gillespie have a big game against his old side. Here goes Brandon Smith. If I knew he was playing starting, I would have backed him for the first try. Fuck, I didn't see the Melbourne make a late change. Oh. I'm guessing Christian Welsh is on, on the bench. Did he get it? No. Nari Tawala. Yeah, Vinavali for first try, I reckon. I've got 10 bucks on it. Come on, Suli. Get me the first try. Oh, Kafusi. Jeez. It's got to watch those lift tackles nowadays. They always really test the horizontal when they lift them nowadays. He goes the Fox. You know, it's actually smart for Newcastle to um, – it's actually smart for Newcastle to target Adai Carr. Because if you go back to the Souths game for a minute last week, Adai Carr's ribs were absolutely cooked. He was injured. Oh, that's a high tackle. Got away with it. Um, yeah, so Newcastle are going to target Adai Carr's ribs. See how he goes. It's quite smart. I've done their homework, Newcastle. Bloody hell. Almost five minutes in. I can't believe we've, we've had no six again calls yet. Oh, Ado Carr got a sideline. Kicks it on the inside. Oh, them's offside. Oh, it's a try to Riley Jacks. Are you serious? Riley Jacks for first try. That was twenty six fucking dollars on sports bet. I'm fuming because I fuck. Olem's offside. Oh, that's a knock on. I can't give that. He dropped that. That's a knock on. You can't give that a try. That's a knock on. He's dropped it. It's a knock on. 
You can't give that. Knock on. What? He dropped the ball. That's not a try. That's a shocking call. Did you see that, Josh? There's no way that's a try. Rugby league is not played in slow motion. He fucking dropped it. How can you, you how can you say that's a try? He's dropped the ball. It was good play from Melbourne, but you can't tell me that was down with pressure. That is a shocking call. Shocking call. That is a really, really bad call. Typical of Melbourne to get away with shit, though. Like, I mean, I've been doing it for years. That's a shocking call. Awful. Fucking hell. I was going to stream the Rabbitohs versus Titans game, but I thought, what the fuck's the use of that when it was a shit game? And I knew it would be a shit game. So that's why I didn't do it, because it was a boring game. I wasn't keen on doing a three o'clock game between... Gold Coast, who are just shit, and South Sydney are, um, yeah, they're okay at the moment. They're not brilliant, but they're doing, they're doing, they're doing okay. Bad call against Newcastle there. Yeah, I, I agree with your sport talk. What's the point of the bunker if I can't get it right? Same with the captain's challenge, bro. The captain's challenge takes so long. I remember in the South game, there was a captain's challenge that went for so long. Went for like two minutes. I was like, bruh, how long is this going to take? Fucking bad. Definitely no try, Hayden. You can see it wasn't down. It wasn't down with pressure at all. It was more of his, more of his wrist than his elbow. It wasn't really grounded. Shocking call. That's what Sports Live said. Don't worry, Nick. The bunker's retired anyway. I stepped up my team yesterday when they didn't fucking review the forward pass. For the yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the, the Brian Toto first try that was a bit dodgy. Yeah, I've had enough of it too. That's the sports side. The six again rule was fucked. National Sports Lotus said the six again call was bullshit. I had enough of it. That game is fucking broken. <laughs> I don't know if it's broken, but I think they're trying to improve too much. Good run there from Clemmer. He'd be on at least 40 metres so far in this game. Big Clem. Golden Anime says, "Aren't you, aren't you just not salty because your cowgirls lost the game, mate? You win some and you lose some. It's how it goes. You got to take the good with the bad. We were shit, and I'm the first one to admit that we were shit. Our problem is defense. We can score points, but we can't defend. Our, we can't defend." Oh, Riley Jacks. Oh, Edric Lee went for the coat hanger. Jeez, he would have took his head off. And Cameron Smith. Show the TV. I can't, bro, because the stream will get taken down because of copyright. Audio is allowed, but you can't have, like, I can't show the game because... It's highly illegal. It's actually illegal. I can't do it. The, the streamer gets taken down straight away. It probably last probably last forty seconds and then it'll be taken down. 
The greasy gamers. Uh, the greasy gamers says, "Hey, bro." Shout out to the greasy gamer too. He won the giveaway last night. He won a uh, free football. So um, I'm not going from Newcastle. Full credit. Shout out to the greasy gamer for winning the um, winning the free footy. I'll send that to him probably Monday, Tuesday. Should be there by maybe Friday or next week. Depends on COVID, I guess. Uh, Storm's still a top four team. Um, I'd say yes. That, they'll finish top four somewhere. I don't know. Brian doesn't look happy. Bradley Oddie said, Go the Eels. Yeah, the 5 and 0, bro. They're, they're going really well at the moment in Parramatta. They're flying at the moment. John says, Storm will win 48 10. That'd be terrible to see, actually, but it might happen. It could happen. Newcastle don't get their act together. Yeah, penalty goes to Melbourne. That was smart from Munster. He actually ran it, ran at the offside player and just kept going around. Is that an eye gouge? Did you guys did you guys just say that? Was that an eye gouge from Aiden Guerra? Good ball. Good tackle from Pierce. Who was that underneath it? Tawala. Brandon Smith. I think Melbourne are a better team with Brandon Smith at lock and Dalfinuk on the front row. They have more points in them that way, I reckon. Papa Housen. Munster. Pierce is there. The goal line dropout. Melbourne will get the ball back. The greasy gamer says Newcastle will choke mid year, I reckon. Yeah, maybe. Depends, depends really, I think. Depends on injuries and stuff. And they're all vid 0 9 0. How you going, my brother? Says Kurt Mann is a decent six. I reckon he's an imposter at 5 8. Never passes the ball. He's all right, but I don't think he's a 5 8. I think he's more of a utility player. The problem with Newcastle is Connor Watson's their utility player, and McCulloch and Bradley are the hookers. So when Newcastle get full strength, they're going to have a few nightmares. Maybe Kurt Mann the centers. McCulloch to bench, probably to hooker. Watson, uh, Watson is that. I don't know where Watson will play. No idea. A couple of headaches there. Oh. The Grizzly Grammar says 398 subscribers. I was at 402 last night, and someone, a couple, 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 couple of people unsubscribed for whatever reason. I've got no idea. It's all right. I'll get it back up, I reckon. Smith. Cameron Smith. Imagine if he scores. What are the odds of that? And I can't. Oh. Melbourne are just building pressure at the moment. I love the way they're playing. Look at that pressure. They're going to give Tawala and Heimel Hunt an absolute nightmare. Yeah, it went in the 396, didn't it? I don't know what happened there. A couple, couple of people must have got the shits because I was going off about the Cowboys. Maybe someone got the shits. I don't know. It happens. Dalfinukin. Oh, run straight at Saifedean. He lost that. Come on, sir. He lost it. Do you big wombat, Brandon Smith. Need that eight card, Brandon Smith. Been master of school for my Storm multi. Come on, Storm. I'll tell you what, they're looking pretty good at the moment, Melbourne. I love the way they're playing at the moment. Kafusi. Ooh. 
Oh, well done, Jax. Smith at first with save. Oh, I want to see more of that. Do you think even though my Broncos lost by two getting robbed, we're still going to make the eight? Yeah, they'll make the eight, bro. Here we go. Yeah, look. Why is it why is from Broncos here? Oh, Munster! My brother's a Bronco supporter. And, oh, I don't think they're too big. You know what? Great defense from Newcastle. I thought they really, they really aimed up there. They did really well to survive that. That was outstanding. We're at 12 likes already, 14 people watching. Hope, hope you guys just keep liking the uh, stream and stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the streams because I'll, I'll probably do this more often now. Edric. Bradman Best. He's a good player. Yeah, I agree. Paul Talker should be nil all. Look at David Clemmer. He just doesn't care. He'll run at Finucane and Bromwich all day. He's a machine, David Clemmer. Pierce. The Melbourne player was like forward. What? They draw backwards. Come on, man. Pierce, man. Go on. That's a shit kick. Oh. That's how he dropped it. If you would have the chance to play rugby league, like, rugby league again, what team would you play for other than the Cowboys? Now, that is a great question. Honestly, I'd play for the Roosters and all the Storm because of how many great players I have in their squad. But um, a team I'd love to play for is Canberra because of like the likes of Hodson and Hodson and Williams and Whiten. I'd love to play for Canberra. That'd be fun to play with. Wouldn't mind playing for Brisbane because it's only like two hours away from where I am, so it's not even that bad of a drive to Brisbane. So Brisbane wouldn't be a bad option. Olam. Although I, I wouldn't play for Gold Coast because fuck that. Oh, good pressure from Pierce. That's a shit kick. What the? Oh, it's bounced. Uh, Newcastle ball. You reckon the no crowds have a massive influence on referees' decisions? No, I, I don't think so. I think the referees just call what they think is right, but a lot of the referees nowadays are just – they don't have the guts to make the big decisions. When they do, it's always a wrong one, which is a shame. Best is getting a ball again. He's getting more involved, which is good. Oh, here we go. Good ball. Vitality is away. Here he goes. Oh, he oh, he's lost it. No, oh, that's got to be fast running for Newcastle. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to have a little fight here, are we? Well, it's on here. Who's a penalty for? So Pierce goes short. Matadia goes through a hole. It's beautiful. Oh, it's a strip from Matt O'Carr. But it wasn't intentional. Oh, Pierce over the top. That's dirty. Oh, he's giving it to Papperhausen. Oh, fuck off, Ben Cummins. Honestly, it wasn't a strip. It was tackling him. That wasn't an. That was not an intentional strip, in my opinion. Now, someone said his brother best of New South Welshman. I'll have a look for you. Yeah, he's from the Central Coast. Anyway, it casts on the attack. I can't remember if we still can't afford to go to Specsavers. Uh, probably because um, they're idiots. Oh, 
Newcastle's left side attacks their best side here. Clemmer again. They can't stop David Clemmer. Oh. Smith. Herman S. Yes, he dropped a clean one. Well, that was that was unlike that was poor. Jason Bakuya retired. Is that is that official? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's sad. I always rated him, eh? That's sad. That actually is quite sad. Oh, sorry. What's up? I'm streaming on YouTube too. Come say hello. Monster on the inside. Look out. Nah, it's gone dead. What a waste. What a waste. Uh, oh, Riley yeah. Jacks, but it was a fucking knock on. Uh -huh. He got away with it. Uh -huh. There it is, Melbourne. Right Cannot afford to make easy errors against Melbourne. Yeah, that's right. How many guys you said the game got played in slow motion? Yeah. Right? He dropped it. There was no way he scored it. Oh, you, you won't believe it. Not 19 minutes in. Oh, I was, I was about to say, not one six to go rule has been called in this game yet until now. 19 minutes in. First six again, rule. We've got 10 people watching, 16 likes. That's awesome. Awesome. Saifidi. David Clemmer's been brilliant the first 20. Ponga. Oh, Ponga. Ponga. Oh, what a tackle, Papahausen. How did he not score that? What a tackle. Dead. Ah, that was a shit kick. Papahausen's everywhere. Greg Alexander's going to explode about California in a minute. And now apparently to Melbourne on Ben fucking Cummins. Can't stand Ben Cummins. Tedesco wouldn't have made that tackle in the same. Nah, Tedesco wouldn't have made that. Oh, yeah, he would have. Uh -uh. Not that one. You don't reckon? Uh -uh. Oh, no. oh, one of my Brian is absolutely fuming at the moment. He is going off. Oh, oh, I oh, I didn't find touch. That's wow. That really hurt Melbourne. That sting a lot. That really hurt. Been a very fast first 20 minutes. And that's what Sports Lighter says. What referee do you want in the NRL mostly? I don't know. Any referees that aren't outside NRL. Yeah, bring Shane Hayne back. Imagine him again. Maybe Harrigan if he comes back. I don't yeah, know. Too old. Don't think he will, but he's fit enough. Ponga. Edric versus Vinavalu. Oh. Bad kick, bro. Why is Ponga kick on fit? Newcastle's, Newcastle's kicking game has been shit house. That's why, that's why they're not winning. Yeah, yeah. Grizzly Grandma said, does Matt Shacker still rep? Yeah, he refereed the last game between South and Gold Coast. How's the game of cards going? Who's winning? Uh, pretty even. 
I'm more than good. Ah. Uh, he did a ball for Fuji. Kafushi's been outstanding. Dal Fanukin. Oh! Tino for some milligram. I think it's going to the Warriors last year. Oh. Olam! Oh, tackle. Yeah, yeah, they called it. Could have went inside. Papa doesn't know inside. Justin Olam is a machine. Can you turn the volume up? On what the TV? The TV or me? Let me know. Me or the TV? Okay, mate. It's not a terrible result. Tim on now. I want to see him have a big game against his old side. TV. That better? It's loud enough. Oh, he's had a sport talk. Uh, not going like, oh, no. Tino said he's heading to the Titans. Oh, sport talk says he's going to the Titans. Look at Adam O'Brien. He's getting angry. That Tino for some other guy, oh, however the heck you say it. Good kid. Those water bottles will be going through the window if Newcastle don't stop, don't stop dropping the ball. No, it's all right, Oki, mate. It's all good. I am doing another stream after this, doing the Tigers and the Raiders game as well. So that'll be fun. I've got the Raiders winning that one quite well. <laughs> the Greasy Grammar says if he goes to the Titans, that's, that's the end of his career. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately... That's how it works. Inside. Oh, it was untouched. Cut up all. Vunavalu. He's over. Melbourne are in. Suliasi Vunavalu. No. No. What? Yeah. Cameron Smith with a great pass. No bunker required. Yeah, he will get more opportunities at the Titans, definitely. Uh, Cameron Smith, mate. Cameron Smith. The referee himself. That's to be about a 20-meter pass. What a player. What a great boomerang! Yeah. Okay, mate says I hope Vinavalu and Adoka head to the Dragons next year. Oh. Well, Vinavalu is meant to be going to Super Rugby, I think, but you never know. Might, he might do, he might do a um, backflip on it. I don't know. It could happen. Mm -hmm. hey, he, might, he might pull a Cherry Evans. Well, that Sharks guy did, Toby Rudolph. Meant to go to the Warriors, but he backflipped. He already signed a contract and he, he backflipped already. To stay at Cronulla. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Arrow Vid 090 says overall thoughts on Jake Granville leaving the Cowboys. Two things I'm going to say about that. If it's because of he's been dropped, then he can get fucked. But if he wants to get another chance elsewhere, then good on him. But yeah, we'll see. Cameron Smith from the sideline. Oh, he's got it. It's too good. Twelve nil Melbourne. Twelve nil. This is the shot from Roma. Well, obviously, yeah, everything has been left for the Melbourne Storm. But Cameron Smith, he decides that he's going to go right. He'll go right long with a ball that cuts out a couple of inside. Got a bit of work on this fucking night. Jackson, just let the big winger do his thing. 
Is there much of a crowd at the game? Um, at this stage, I have absolutely no idea who, who is actually allowed in. It looks like there's a few people there, but it wouldn't be many. Granville to Canberra, what do you reckon? Mm, nah, it wouldn't get a run there. A tip nice to Winslow. I need to pull the finger out. Yeah, they do. Ah, Luther King in the chat. The bear living large. Absolutely, bro. You should be here with me doing the live stream with me. Where are you, Luther? What are you doing in Walling Bar? Get back to Bloody Lismore. One day, bro. Yeah, mate. We had a relief grand little day earlier, so we came to Brisbane. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, he offered to take out dummy off. He offers, yeah, well, offers a little bit. I like Luke's really well. I was like Luke's good experience. Still got it. Oh! Oh, look out! Oh, he could have got Kodang there. Wow. Well, we've got 13 minutes to half time. Melbourne 12 0. Um, Newcastle need to hold the ball. They need to stop making errors. Don't have any momentum. They need to find some momentum here tonight. Oh, no. They lost it again the Knights. Was a Ford really? Challenge it. Hey, go on, bro. I'm not playing too good tonight. Hey, go on, mate. Hey, go on. Be cool. Hey, go on. Wow. Massive call from all those Brisbane Broncos. He says Melbourne will win this. Newcastle won't come back. That's a massive call this early in the game. To be fair, though, Newcastle are not stop making errors. They won't come back. They need to stop making errors tonight. Papa Housen. It's been outstanding in this game. Dal Finucane. Oh, I thought Ireland was going to score then. No, nah, you can have it. I think it frozen it. Yeah, a little bit. I don't reckon. We thought. No, no one. Ireland has got it. He got tackled. So this here looks. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Ireland's ankle. Ireland's all good. He's right. Get on with the game. They're all good. Riley Jacks. Oh, Nelson. Fuck you, the two ball. Oh, Papa Housen. Oh, that was a dead kid. That is the worst kick I've ever seen in my life. He's had a good game so far. Have you got any money on this game? Yeah, I've got a couple of same game multis of Newcastle. I did have one of Melbourne. If I let them scores any time in Melbourne win, I'll win like 50 bucks, I think. So. I want Newcastle to win, but I, I did have a little late slap on Melbourne. Because it's Melbourne. I mean, you always going to have a bet on Melbourne regardless because they're so good. If Newcastle score before half time, they can really do some good things in this game. That's a real working class set from Newcastle. Intense pressure. Andrew McCulloch. Oh, there's some of the fans there. Look, there's, there's some there's some fans at the game. Not many, though. Probably like 300. I don't know. If that. Just might provide the Knights what they need. 
Oh, boy. Nelson, I suffer Solomon. It's a game ball. There's a real plan from the Melbourne Storm to get as much track as they can. Mitchell Pierce, that time it was Nelson and Sofa Solomon off the scrum. And that's almost not fair, is it, Corey? Having 200 centimetre, 129 kilo, that's the Sofa Solomon reply, mate. He came really out of the tackle hole with his shoulder and understand why. Yeah, Jason McCoy did retire. Wow, Bakuya did retire. Far out. That's sad. Edric did well there. Well done, Edric Lee. Oh, six to go. Oh, shit. Six to fucking go. I hate that fucking rule. Fuck the six again, roll off. Tis for tomorrow. Um, roosters and uh, sharks. Oh, here we go, Edric Lee, Bradman Best. Oh, wow. Look out for Ponga. Who the fuck did that come off? Oh, did he score it? Nah, not gone. Fuck. I thought I was going to be a try. Got excited for a second. Do you think Dragons could pull an upset tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think they can. I, I don't know. Don't see enough points in the Dragons. I think they're a chance, but I don't think they'll win. Yeah, no try. Yeah, it was unlucky. They were a chance at Newcastle. Yesterday's game reminded me of the Sharks game. Pretty disappointing. Yeah, bro. No doubt. Oh, six to go. For fuck's sake. Most fucked fucking rule going. Fucking pathetic. Oh, I hate a six again rule. I fucking hate it. And that was for the under five. He's coming to speak. The monster. Six and a half to go in the first time. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Anyway, bid 0-9-0. Newcastle's completion rate hasn't been great, but it's improved a little bit. The longer this first half's gone on. Melbourne have got a few issues. Uh, Newcastle got issues to sort out at half time. If I score here, this will hurt. Kenny Bromwich is worrying the defence. Cameron Smith, try time. Tino scores, and that is fucking not good for Newcastle. Boy, oh boy. That'll sting him a lot. Yeah, rip Newcastle, I think. Far out. Fucking Tino. Who the fuck backed in the score try? That's poor from Newcastle. This is his first try in his career. Wow. That is a lovely moment. The music is size. He's used as a weapon close to the line. Beast Cryptic says hi. What's going on, bro? Uh, Oki Mate says, um, how do you think Nathan Cleary went last night? You know, 
I thought he was outstanding. I thought he had a better game than Moses personally, but everyone's got their own opinion. But I thought Nathan Cleary was outstanding in his first game back with Penrith. He had a good game. Rip Newcastle at this point it looks terrible. You're back at 400, bro. I appreciate it. Thanks for 400 subscribers, guys. It means a lot. Eh? I had twenty dollars on Tino. Are you serious? Did you actually? If you actually had twenty dollars on Tino to score, that you should be cheering like crazy right now. Yeah, I'll be watching Raiders game, bro. I'll be streaming that game on here, no doubt. Absolutely, no doubt. He's kicked it. 18-0. Can Newcastle pull the Raiders? Come back from 18-0 like last year. I go for Raiders up to Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys just, I don't know. I got a lot to work on, man. Yeah, Newcastle at the moment have just. Yeah, the first try Melbourne scored was was dodgy, but the other two have been pretty fair to be to be honest. And Christian Welsh. Big Nelson. Oh, uh, Hayden. Too early to call, I think. Contenders. I need Castle, the contenders or pretenders. Hard to call at this stage. If Newcastle get flogged, they get flogged. But um, it's a long way to go in the season. One, one or two games doesn't mean anything. It happens. Oh, to Broncos next week. Um, at this stage, I'd go Newcastle. I think. But hey, Broncos are capable. They're pretty good the other night. Oh my God, Kurt Man's running. Kurt Man's away. Kind of. Kurt Man's an imposter. Can I do something, Newcastle, before our time? Luna Vala just absolutely own own Edric Lee then with that with that take. It was like AFL. Justin Olam has been outstanding in this first half. He's getting the sets rolling for the Fords. So is that on Khan Vinavalu. Here we go again. Frank Ali. He went from a fucking nobody to going to Melbourne. Field goal. Here we go. Cameron Smith. Missed it. Holy shit. <laughs> Referee Smith going for a field goal. Doesn't surprise me one bit with Cameron Smith. Sit the bloody laptop here for a minute. Callum Ponga needs to do something. Yeah, he sure does. He just keeps stepping and it's so predictable. Half time, six to go for Newcastle. 45 seconds to half time. Newcastle need points before the break. Oh my God, Kurt, man, the ball hog. I agree, Oki, okay, mate.
Six to go. Yeah, they're doing it. To, Melbourne are doing this deliberately now, so like it'll get the half time. I hate this. I hate when clubs do this. I'll do it again now. Six to go again. You watch. Bin him. Bin him. It's a fucking sin bin. It happened last night at the Panthers Eels game at the end. Oh, now he's in the bin. Is he? No at all. If just said no, you're off. Why isn't he in the sin bin? Yeah, we expect that's going to go. No, I agree. I agree. He's not trying to roll away at all, Caboosey. And it seemed well, there'd been a couple of set restarts in the last. That's fucked. So, I think, well, he'd be right, Ben Cummins, to give police Caboosey 10 minutes in that sort of situation. He should honestly be in the bin. That's a fuck. That's a fuck call. The time's rolling down like it was around the pump. It's just give away a penalty potentially, which is what we just. That's such a fucking bad call. It should be Simbin. Honestly. I'm sure he'll kick this Kyle Ponga. Surely. Yeah. Right, right, half time. Melbourne 18, Newcastle 2. Didn't expect to see that. Yeah, well, that's half time, so. Melbourne 18 2, Newcastle got a bit to work on. Let's have, let's have a look at some of the stats, guys. Let's have a quick look. There's Ricky Stewart, Relax Raiders. That uh, was a penalty, bro. Melbourne was giving away deliberate penalties. It should have been a sin bin, but it wasn't. Oh, I was enjoying the music, damn it. Can't see the Knights coming back. You reckon? It's going to be tough. They're down 16 points. It's going to be really tough on Newcastle. But, hey, never say never nowadays. I mean, what about last Thursday night, 18-4? Broncos had Manly and they come back. So, I mean, it's possible. Let's have a look at some of the half, first half stats, guys. So, we'll go with the most tackles to start off. So, we'll start with Newcastle. David Clemmer, 18 tackles. Sione Mataria, 25. McCulloch, 28. And as for Melbourne, Dalfanuka made 13. Kafusi, 17. And Cameron Smith, 24. Let's have a look at the most run metres. Now, this is probably about right, to be fair. Edric Lee, 68 metres. Bradman Best, 81. And David Clemmer, 93. And as for Melbourne, Justin Olam at 92, Dale Finucane at 92, and Ryan Papperhausen at 104 metres. Probably a, probably a fair indication of how the game's been so far. Melbourne have had 58% possessions compared to Newcastle's, which was 42, but at the moment, Newcastle's completion rate is just, it's just letting them down. But I think, the, I think Newcastle's... Errors and disciplines really starting to show in this game at the moment. I think for Newcastle to come back in the second half, they're going to have to stop playing sideways football, go through the middle a bit more and more running from dummy half and just take them on through the middle. Don't just go, oh, yeah, we'll just give Edric Lee and Bradman Best a couple of runs and then we'll go through the middle. Then we'll go back to the sideline. That, that's not how you beat Melbourne. you got, you got to you got to take them on. you got to back yourselves against this Melbourne side. I mean, if you go straight ahead, you complete your sets, couple to couple dummy half runs, spread the ball, tackle four, tackle five. You can find some points. Maybe when the fullback is in the line, and when the wingers are up in the line, kick behind, kick at the end of the corners, get 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 the wingers a bit nervous. I want to see the Knights attack more on the left side with uh, Kurt Mann and Kalen Ponga, because that right side defence with Brinko Lee and Funavalu, they can really. Expose that side, so I think that's where Newcastle are going to score their points from. They won't score on the other side, I don't reckon. 
unless it's off a kick or something, but more attack for Newcastle on that left side. I think they can win. And I think Melbourne are winning because they're completing their sets really highly and they're just putting some really good pressure on the Knights' halves and they're kicking games. Ponga and Pierce, Ponga and Ponga's, Ponga and Pierce's kicking game has been really poor in the first half and Melbourne's uh, defensive pressure has been really strong. So I think Melbourne, if they just keep completing their sets and they keep making their tackles, I think they're going to end up winning this game. So at the moment, I'd say Melbourne by about 12. But, um, hey, with Newcastle, they Newcastle have to score first. It's it's a no-brainer. If if Newcastle if Melbourne score first, game over. There's no doubt about it. Mm. Newcastle are kind of playing like Parramatta at the moment. Well, Parramatta were like last night. Parramatta were a bit like this, weren't they? Which is where we find milestone coach Ricky Stewart joining us ahead of kickoff. Yeah, I agree. National sports loaded. Newcastle playing Melbourne. No, that's a big difference. They're going to have to try and find points. And I think the left side is the only side that where they can score points on. Ricky Stewart's just on Fox having a bit of a chat about. The preview for the um, the Tigers and the Raiders at seven thirty-five. So I'll be I'll be doing that game again as well. So hopefully we can get a, a lot of people on here for that one. I think that'll be a good game. I think the Raiders will win well, but you never know. Guys such as um, uh, Tim Sheens, who really taught you how to train and how to prepare and how to be a real player, and the, you know, the strategic planning of a person such as uh, you. you know, that, those types of people uh, certainly have a, uh, a huge bearing on, on your, your process as a coach, but then you've got to put your own personality in DNA and uh, um, use bits and pieces of what you think that works, but it comes back down to you. Well, everyone fought on the first half. Just watch him report. Just go, I'm going to ask you about the game, but listen to the, the answer there. We, we saw recently this year on the field before when you play. Now, how I've been lucky enough for the people at home happened to see the way you can do a relationship with your goal with your players. Nice to win 50 to 18. <laughs> That's, that would be the best fucking second half performance I've ever seen if that, if that happened. Um, my biggest responsibility as a coach is the player. Decent first half, yeah. You know, it was, it was average at best, in my opinion. Yeah, so, so do I, sport talk. I'm hoping they can come back, but it's going to be tough. I'm going to make tough calls someday, but uh, I, I feel as though the relationship uh, part of, for me is something that I take very personal. Hey, Rick, um, you know, obviously, you, know, you mentioned it is a tough kick, you know, coaching. And um, beginning of the week, obviously, you would have been fairly upset uh, with the way things panned out last week. But I see at the end of the week, you actually mentioned that you, know, you, you took some responsibility and accountability for the team's performance last week. Oh, what boy. Could improve on this week that holds me a good step for today's game. After every loss, now I'll review the All right, guys, what I'm going to do. No. Put too loud out there. Bloody loudness out there. Might get on a multi for the uh, Tigers Raiders game while it's half time here. And then I get cranky on myself and then. You know, I was upset last week, but after our first day back, um, I sat down with the four leaders of the uh, of, of our club, uh, Celia, Elliot, Josh, and Jared, and I felt real comfortable that uh, they were taking they were, they were going to take some uh, lead this week. And the big thing for us this week, or well, this game tonight, Mal, is not to go out and frantically try and get back to our standards. We've just got to be composed, and we've got to get back to our standards and be comfortable about playing. 
Well, Rick, it's great to see a smile on your face. You're one of our favourites and all the best for game number 400. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Rick, you still have the game as coach tonight. Soon on your Super Saturday, it is half time between the Storm and the Knights. Let's get straight to this first half highlight brought to you by Bundaberg Group. Cooper, Riley Japs, he rewarded the call up. Yeah, it was a great start from Storm. Let's be honest, they were dominant that first first half of footy. It was a play down the short side, fifth tackle. Must has gone down with a different option to normal. Good hands here, but the Fox gets a quick kick away. And how about Essay? He's gone on the ball, but Riley Japs coming up from the other side and gets first thing to the footy and ends up being 6 0. But then I'll tell you what, guys. It's half time. I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm in the, just in the kitchen. I'm bloody starving. I'll be back in about two minutes. Until then, I'll just leave it on Fox here. Leave the audio on. Be back in two minutes, guys. Oh. It is 18 to 2, the half time score. Can the Knights reel in the storm? A big 40 minutes coming up on the Central Coast stack. The man, the myth, the legend. You know you'll make a great man one day. Great man. You know I had the weirdest craze when I was pregnant. It was a nice day. Oh, how to make Australia's most famous dark and stony. First, the glass. Then you'll do. Except that one. Right, so plenty of ice, squeeze a lime, three quarters ginger beer, and nip a bundy, and garnish. Or not. There are those amongst us that give a little more. You might not notice them, but those few standing proud are the reason some can stand at all. Army Reserve, challenge yourself. Tools, tools, tools. Sydney Tools Milwaukee Rock Show Sale ends today. Get up to 20% worth of bonus credit for every $500 spent on Milwaukee. Save across the entire Milwaukee range. Cross combo kits, prop tools, hand tools, pack out, dust extractors, plumbing tools, and much more. Milwaukee 18 volt suplex combo kit with a free 18 volt reciprocating saw off $6.59. Milwaukee 18 volt brushless 10 piece kit, only $19.99 plus $400 Milwaukee dollars. Show Australia's biggest Milwaukee range at sydneytools.com.au. Everyone knows Volkswagen drivers expect a little more. Tiguan Trendline from just three five nine ninety drive away. Volkswagen. How's your weight loss going? Haven't been to the gym, bro. Have, about to have a feed right now. Free bread rolls. Just starving. Do you think Newcastle will make a comeback? At the moment, I would say no. But it's possible. Right, what do we got here? Seven people, 17 likes. Hello, everyone. I'm back. It's gone for two minutes or so. Here we go. Love this song. On your bossy. 
Right. Yeah, South West Titans. What a shit game that was. Wasn't impressed with that game at all. Feel that? Bryson Goodwin has gone to Cronulla. What the fuck? I'm not too sure on National Sports Loaded. It's all right, though, eh? Bryson Goodwin to Cronulla. Why would you go to Cronulla for? Didn't they get Nana McDonald the other day as well? Why the Sharks signing outside backs? I don't understand. I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything for hours. And how good can it cope? Definitely is weird. Uh, Kevin, some Tr- Mitchell tonight against South Sydney today. I mean, the troll against the Titans, he was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant performance. He was unbelievable today. And that has no reason why it can't return. All right, let's get the volume back up. Second half is underway. What's your thoughts on Philip Semi's performance? Uh, yeah, he played well. He tried really hard, Philip Semi. He's not a bad player at all. Solid player. Solid as it gets. Great run, Saifidi. Will you ever come to Bankwest, Nick? Uh, guaranteed. Guarantee it. If full crowds are, are allowed in by finals, I'll be there. I'll drive down. It'll take me nine hours to get there. I'll drive down. Uh oh. Oh no. Kurt Mann's gone. Tex Hoy will come on. Go Tex. Oh, knock on Melbourne. Well, only a couple of errors doubled on this point. That was Kurt Bear. 
Yeah, bro, for sure. I am planning on meeting up with Entertain House at a game at Bankwest when the crowds are open. So, um, yeah, I'll be there. Falls on, falls on a second Brisbane team. Um, I think it has to happen. I really do. In swap ball, oh, it has to happen. Bin him. Come on, ref, bin him. Oh, another injury for Newcastle. Oh, shit. Yuck. That was very inappropriate. Sorry, guys. That was disgusting. Here we go. Try time. You hog. He dropped it. I think they dropped the ball into the NHR as well. Then they've got a clean catch on it to Arlo. You did think they were a chance there. Caleb Ponga out the back. Plenty of numbers to, to pick from Pierce. Out the Ponga. A little bit of room to move. Josh and O'Carroll. Really, really poor from Newcastle. Again, we're just making poor errors at the bad, worst at the bad times. Well, Olam, if Justin, if Justin Olam scores. And Melbourne win, I win 50 bucks. So come on, OLM, get a try. Big Nelson. What a machine up like this. Monster. Glasby has been pretty good off the bench for Newcastle. Pierce puts it up. Easy take. I mean, it was a little bit late, but I don't think there was much in it. Pong is away. Caleb Ponga. Oh, wow. Good run, Ponga. Following that 
three tackles with Myers inside the school half. So the most pretty play on the line for tackle. Oh! It's a run of fights. Should be a penalty. No six to go for Newcastle. Here we go. I reckon I'll score it. Oh, get him on. So all the numbers here. Hong up. He hog. Hog of the season. What the fuck? Newcastle was so lost. McCullough from Dummy R. Newcastle was so lost at the moment. They dropped it. Jesus Christ. Well, it started to disrupt from Caleb Ponga. Way back near his own try line, he makes a 40 metre burst. That got the Knights going. The best set of the game for Newcastle. They got down near the try line, got a six to go call, and then really they should have scored a try out for the right. That's the end of it, and that's. Turned the ball back over to Melbourne. Well, Caleb Palmer caught the ball out the right, Andrew. There was space and there was very few Melbourne defenders. <laughs> back on the inside. The Newcastle fans on TV. <laughs> They're saying exactly the same thing. Go right. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. So Melbourne back with the ball with Kanuka. No damage done to the school since half time. The lead is 16 points. Super Saturday on Fox League. Canberra versus the Tigers. Comes up after this one. Changes are plenty of the Tigers during the week. Raiders off the beat as well. They're very to the sunset. Oh, they're one up way. A lot of interest in that Raiders Tigers game today. Robin all right. Fuck, here we go. At the Tain House. Wants me to ring him for a FaceTime view. All right, because that Tain House is watching the game from the bridge, I believe. Hang on. This will be very good. Let me ring him up. Hang on, guys. This should be good. Hi, bro. Ready? Hey. Bye. How the fuck did you get in? Hey. We got Zach over here. We got Emma over here. Yeah. And then Reese and Nathan over there. I'll flip it around again, but. Wow. Pretty good view. We were watching from the bridge to start off with, but we moved down here. How really? Go? Yeah, no, it's going good. Yeah, we got uh, some people on here watching. No, it's going well. Really That's well. Good. What was the likes? Uh, 18 at the moment, I think. Yeah, set the goal for 30, making you smash the line. Yeah, everyone yeah. liked the bloody, I'll bloody. Stay up for a minute. We're the storm attacking here, very close. Mm. So, yeah, they're about, f- about 30 out. Yeah, they're not far. Yeah. If they can get close, though, and they can get to his left hand edge, then I can show you. Oh, they're in. Are they? No, tackle. Very close, though. Here we go. They're going to go right here. Ready? Flip. Bang. Oh, that's fire. Here we go. Come on. Let's see a try for old Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Oi, friggin', did you see... Um... At half time, Cameron Smith, he swore at Ben Cummins. No, I know there was something going on. I, I just he was yelling, but I didn't know it was that. I got a notification about five minutes ago. Ben Cummins got sworn out by Cameron Smith. Has he been fined? No. Nah. It's Cameron Smith, he never gets fined. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty true. He's a referee. I um I entered a, a card break and I pulled a speaker. Storm game, pulled a Brandon Smith signature. Really? Brandon Smith? Yeah, 
Right. The Wombat. Right the Wombat. Newcastle have been shit. They haven't been great, have they? Nah. They've been okay. But the Storm, in the first half, they've been real clinical. They made so many. Oh, here we go. You just had to say that. And here, Newcastle. Piss. Newcastle. Piss. Newcastle. Newcastle. There is a, there's a lot of angry Newcastle fans at the moment, Newcastle. apparently. Newcastle. You hear that, guys? Newcastle. Yeah. Try. Bradman burst again. He's in my multi. I need Ireland to score for 50, but I needed Newcastle 1 to 12 now for more money. Yeah, I need Newcastle 1 to 12, and I need Raiders 13 plus for 64 dollars. Yeah, I'm on the Raiders 13 plus. I'm doing a yeah, stream. No. I'm doing another stream later. Uh, Jared Croker to score a try in the first 10 minutes. All right. Oh, did he drop it? Oh, hang on. Are they going upstairs? They're going to say he dropped it. Yeah, they? but what about the first half? Rolly Jackson's first try. That was a knock on. It's crazy. You do, said, you to, do you want me to turn it around when there's a bit of game? And you can show yeah, it yeah. Why not? Nah, that know. better be a fucking try because Rolly Jackson's try in the first half was a knock on. That's bullshit. That better be a try. Yeah, that was bullshit. Rubbish. That pissed everyone off. Everyone was fuming. Come on, how long does it take? What are we waiting? Five minutes for the decision. Go. That's sick. <laughs> That's sick, bro. No, I have no, I've, I've actually, actually never, never been to Sydney. Come on, Knights. Yeah, where is the fire? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Bradman best. What a kick from Kurt Mann. Kurt Mann's been fucking shit. Well, that was a good play. Not the greatest half. He had a few good games. He had a good game uh, last week. Yeah. He had a good game against the Tigers. He's showing his true colours again, isn't he? I've got to say, Newcastle's only got one, one, one side of attack tonight. It's the left side. Their right, their right side is trash. It's always Melbourne. It's always Melbourne, yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, it's weird because some teams are just inconsistent each week. Yeah. Like, look at the Warriors. How, yeah, so oh, hot, Warriors. Hot, hot, hot and Mickey cold. Warriors. He, he was Warriors in that group uh, spot. He pulled uh, Will Hopalato's jersey, like a piece of Norway's jersey, and he pulled Eastern Masters signature. Wow, really? Wow, well, oh, he's missed it. Fuck. Yeah, so that means it's... 18-6. Uh, 18? 18-6. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Who? I can't they always get penalty goals, Melbourne. Yeah, they always do. But, but these guys are doing like a big chair. Wow. That's smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to make sure no one goes in. Fair enough. Right, so do you want to turn this around? Give stream. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. Hang on, let me. Wow. Hang on, let me turn this around. Entertain House is at the game, guys. That is absolutely. Sure, guys. Knights in store. We're at Entertain House at the game live. There you go, mate. He's sitting outside. Oh, how good. How good. There he is, Lord. You can see him on the screen. There he is. <laughs> so, Feedy, piss, fuck. Yeah, you're a little bit behind. Yeah, about, 
about about five seconds, I reckon. Yeah, I'd say five seconds. Fucking. Is this your last stream for the weekend, or are you doing the games tomorrow? I'm doing the game straight after it. Tigers Raiders. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do Tigers Raiders, but I thought, well, I, I got a lot of fans who are Tigers fans, and they said they're keen. And I did a poll on Instagram, so many yeses, so I like, might as well. I was gonna do Rabbit Eyes Titans, but I went, nah, that'd be a shit game. What's the point? And you're right. It was a fucking boringest game ever. It was, man. Latron Mitchell had a little. He had a great game. Outstanding. Yeah. Hunger. Yeah, I'm Hunger. 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 Hunger
A dreadful mistake. But able to clean up that ball on tackle number four. Pierce, they tried the right, now they tried the left. Coming inside, Peter. Not to run again. Here we go. That's a try to clean his, his ribs, I think. All right, we got a fucking audience back. Holy shit. Hello, everyone. I locked it in. Here we go. No, I just got off, bro. He's at the game. He's just outside. I just leave my broken his sternum. Holy shit, I'm sweating because it's a good game. Here come the Knights. Great. Caleb Ponger at the line. Look at that. Oof. Brilliant. I'm going to read some of these comments. Melbourne had cheats of the decade, mate. Yeah, that can be. There it is. Yeah, there are a lot of comebackers on. Hello, Patrick. What's going on, bro? Rolly Jacks. They come the nice. Probably sure is the best. Yeah, he can be. Yeah, I was. He's at the fence now. I like actually Patrick. Ray's fans on top of a car park next to Campbelltown. Real. Well, that's outstanding, Patrick. Uh, Isaac, I am happy that Isaac was going to Brisbane. Great signing. He's got to kick this one, Kalen. Yeah, John, apparently Goodwin has gone to Cronulla. Apparently, that's absolutely madness. I still got my bread roll here. I need to finish off eating. Big kick here for Ponga. He's got it. Oh, here we go. Holy shit, here we go. If Newcastle score, I'm winning some money here, I'm telling you now. Oh, my. Eighteen, twelve. Yeah, so do I. I remember, I remember in Warrington as well. Yeah, so did I. Uh, then I will bid zero nine zero. Well, Newcastle are right back in this one. The I Grace Ball talk. Yeah, Hayden, what a finish. If I was out of my Brian, I'd be getting a big glass of fucking rum. And I'd be saying, give me a fucking drink of this. I can't handle close games. It's too too intense. Five inside their own half, smart kick from McCulloch. Very smart. I like what I just did there, Newcastle. Well, 16 minutes to go, 18 12. Melbourne, Newcastle are coming for him. Yeah, John, I agree, bro. Tell all your bloody mates in England and watch the NRL. It's honestly the best sport in the world, mate. No doubt. Isaac, no, he didn't tell me about that. He did not tell me that. So, if that's the case, that's very disappointing that someone would make a fake, fake entertain house account. That's pretty low, in my opinion. 
First half of this game was shit, second half's been good. Wow, that play the ball was very sloppy. Forty twenty. Nah, Pepe hasn't said. John says I've only seen two NRL teams over here. Really? Two? No, that would be like I'm guessing that would have been like the Roosters or someone World Club Challenge. I'm guessing. John said, uh, Ozak says, when can I verse you on Rugby Wild 4 again? Um, maybe tonight I'll try and be on. I can't make any promises, but I'll try my best. Oh, sorry, Simon. I can't help it, bro. I'm just starving. Oh, well done, Homer Hunt. Ah, yeah. Wigan versus Cronulla 2017 World Club Challenge. I remember that game. Wigan won that. And the Roosters versus St. Helsian would have been a good one to go to because that was a great game. Simon, bro, my day's been fantastic. How's yours been? I'm doing a stream of the uh, Tigers Raiders game after this. The Tigers Raiders game next. So stay tuned for that. I'll end the stream when this is over and get on to, get on to the other one. How good's the second half been between Newcastle and Melbourne? Very physical game. Great kick, Mitchell Pierce. The chances finally get yeah, I, I, oh, good tackle. Who was that? Is that Kurt Mann? Kurt Mann is there again. I'm just saying my dinner right now. Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. It's getting towards that time where everyone has dinner. Come on, guys. Can we get the 20 likes on this? On this? 20 likes is all I need. That'll be good if we can get the 20 likes. Here we go, Melbourne. Oh, they're away, Melbourne. Good of volley down the sideline. Looking on the inside. Puts a grab a kick. Chance for Cameron Smith. Oh, he got tackled high. Was he tackled? Oh, what a tackle. Edric Lee just killed him. Good of volley was dead. Holy fuck. What? Can't be a penalty. Cameron Smith's there again. He's always there. Great play, Cameron Smith. Out the break, go Nah, it can't be a penalty. It was going for the it was going for the tackle. You fell into it. Oh, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. He's going for the tackle. It's not a it's not a penalty. He fell into it. Look at Bellamy. Bellamy's going for a walk. How is that a fucking penalty? That's a fucking shit call. Are you fucking serious? That can't be a penalty. Like it was going for the tackle. That's an absolute bullshit call. <laughs> hey, Naughty just said the exact the exact same thing. Watch Melbourne get a penalty here or fucking field goal, some bullshit, or even a try. That was a shocking call. Shocking call. 
He's going for the tackle. I don't see how it's a penalty. It just it just ruins the momentum. That sort of shit. It wasn't even a bad tackle. It just seriously. Oh, Vinavalu. Nah, he's recovered all right. He's a fucking milker. Yeah, he must have. I reckon he threw a couple zeros on the on the end of that one, Lorenzo, and it will bid zero nine zero. Shocking call. Yeah, they have all nine, Hayden. Melbourne have got the rubber, the green in this one. Oh, another sack because of touched by the Knights. Jeez. Look at Bellamy. <laughs> Bellamy's out of his seat, walking around, fucking losing it. Bellamy's gone berserk in the commentary box. I don't blame him. I've been nervous ass. Yeah, well, Zach, you probably did. I got no idea. Uh, Brandon Smith goes very close again. Brandon Smith. Oh, he's lost it. Good work, Newcastle. I did well to survive that. But have they got enough energy now to go 100 metres? They look, they're at their feet. They're fucked. They only probably played the refs. Yeah, he probably did. I'm not, not sure. I wish I had a microphone in Craig Bellamy's commentary box. If I had a microphone in Craig Bellamy's commentary box, there'd be a lot of bleeping out and that. A lot of swearing involved. It'd be worse than the corner post, let me tell you. If in the corner post is back, imagine Craig Bellamy's uh, mic'd up in the commentary box. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be bloody chaos. Oh, fuck off. Tony Melbourne. Fucking hell. Wouldn't that just fucking annoy you? What a joke. You watch Phil go on this set. Here it comes. I can just see Muster or Smith kicking a field goal here. Oh, Kafusi guys got the back there, they a chance. Could be a penalty for a late hit there. Captain's challenge coming up. Uh, Captain's challenge. 
fuck's sake. Absolutely hand it off the ball. This is before that one there. Two song. Well, this is gonna be penalty. Well, this is gonna be huge. This is gonna be penalty shot at goal. Right inside the upright. Corey is Oh no. Oh, penalty Melbourne in front. Fuck me, Dad. Well, that'll fucking. That's fucked. Can I get a good. good I want to. I want to go. I want a good look at this. In another case, they scored a try here. That's a fucking penalty? Are you fucking joking me? That right there is a shocking call. David Clem is coming out of the line. The decoy runner's going through. Of course, Clem is going to knock the cut over and say, get out of the way. He flopped. A shocking call. Well, Newcastle got eight minutes, uh, well, five minutes and score eight, eight points. I'm going to say something in a minute. Ben Cummins is a fucking arsehole. Short kick off was no good. Ben Cummins is the worst fucking referee I have ever fucking seen in my life. I don't give a fuck who you support. Ben Cummins ruined the grand final last year. He fucked the, he fucked the finish. He ruined the fucking game. Last week between Parramatta and Manly, he ruined the ending with that. He got it wrong. And he just fucking cost Newcastle any chance. I'm not saying Newcastle were robbed, but what I'm saying is they were down six and that, that Ben Cummins is a fucking dead shit. Hopeless. Get, tell Ben Cummins to go and fuck himself. Someone? Absolute joke. Uh, try to Melbourne. You're kidding me. Ben Cummins has got no try, but it'd probably be a try because he's a fucking idiot. He's blind as a fucking wombat. Around it. I don't know if the line is he over the line at that stage. Uh, I was just about to say you're kidding after the Brandon Spitz up and get through those tackles and somehow get That's a good one, Isaac, bro. <laughs> That's a good one, man. I shot down, just make sure that. In that melee, that it's across the line, it's across the line. Uh, but that is a lot of it. It's a lot of it. It's a lot of it. Shocking. But you do have to 
over the turn of the season. If I hear it, that's going to be always maintains possession. He grounds the ball on the goal line. It's a try. Number one. Wow. Wow. He didn't have a clear build it. Fuck you, Ben Cummins. Put the fuck. You're not wrong, Brandy. Put the fucking win out of him, all right? Fucking Ben Cummins is an absolute arsehole. I reckon Canberra Raiders supporters would refuse to have him. Referee their games. Every game Cameron played, Ben Cummins will Ben Cummins would refuse uh Cameron will refuse Ben Cummins to referee. Well he's one of those players that you just want to play with every week. The nickname Fuck Ben Cummins. It was 18-12. And if David Clement was defending on the goal line, he come out, the decoy contacted him, Clement knocked him over. It was a more of a flop. And then Nicholas was tackled in the air, but I went back to the penalty. Penalty in front, took the win out of them, and then they just scored. Melbourne were the better side, but Newcastle just got fucked over at the end. It was a bad coming. Their opponents got back within six. And just like that, Melbourne beat by 14. We're not far away from the Raiders and the Tigers doing battle at Campbelltown on Super Saturday. Josh Reynolds in the starting side for the Tigers. They beat you, Marshall. <sighs> what a joke this referee is. Yeah, I am too, John. I'm real keen to see George Williams play. One minute 20 to go. A good win for the Storm, but some very tough calls against Newcastle in certain periods of the game. Fucking eyes itchy. Look for the sideline now. Cameron Munster does that as hard as he possibly can. Hunt will cut it off. There's not enough time now for the Knights. Caleb Pope with the ball. Well, it was a week set up by their best 40 minutes. Isaac, bro, that's a good one. Well, 30 seconds to go. The siren will go in a minute. CJ's having Tigers win. CJ, bro, do you hate, do you hate Canberra? I swear every time Canberra play, you always tip against them. I'm just curious. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ways to win and punch over the sideline. There'll be no packing of the scrum. The run of the Knights comes to an end, and Melbourne wrap up back to back victories. So four wins from five, and it's hard to play straight penalty. Uh, I would say Ben Cummins. No doubt. Man, the match. Man, the match. Now, that is a good question. Their forwards are pretty good. A lot of them. Smith was brilliant. Cameron Smith was outstanding, as usual. I'd probably give my man the master of Ryan Papperhausen on that one, to be honest. All right, guys. I'm hopping off. 
the, the uh, Knights versus Storm stream. Hope you enjoyed it. The next stream will be in about five, six minutes' time. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the Tigers Raiders stream. So I'll catch you guys very soon. Catch you guys then. Back into the game there, but being off. Oh, funny.